All right, welcome back. Thanks for being here. Hey, there's a new summer program here in Houston, well, new to us, connecting the city's youth with police. It's called the Teen and Police Service Academy, TAPS, Summer Youth uh, Leadership Institute. Joining me now, some special guests in studio, Dr. Everett Penn, founder, executive director. And we have one of the TAPS ambassadors, mm -hmm. Zania Carpenter, with us. How y'all both doing? Good morning. Good. How are you? Wonderful. Thanks for being here. Yes. All right, Dr. Penn, let's start with you, because Zania, we want to hear about your experience. Oh, yes. But Doc, tell me about the program. You founded this. What's yes. sort of the, the brief history of it? Well, wonderful. TAPS Academy started in 2011 with the Houston Police Department. And just a wonderful coming together to understand police Police and youth need to understand each other, work together, and be just better partners here in the community. So 2015, we became our own independent 501c3. And since last year, we started the Summer Youth Leadership Institute. It allows our high school students to earn one high school credit while they actively learn and communicate with officers, learn everything from conflict mediation to gang awareness to all these things on the University of Houston campus. And we had the pleasure of having Ms. Carpenter last year to be one of our students, this year one of our ambassadors. No kidding, so, you, so you're working your way through the program? Uh, yeah. You're helping other students? I am, I'll say okay. that. So tell me about your first summer last year, how was it? So last year, first summer was really, was really fun, it was really interesting, I was uh, really scared at first okay. because how I come well at first I didn't really know what it was about because my mom had just signed me up for it <laughs> so when I got there and I found out that it was a police program I wasn't really sure about it because I didn't really know how, how I felt about police sure sure and is that is that one of the issues is really that's uh, right. communication between police and folks in the community we call it reducing social distance that when you learn more about people you usually have more of a liking or appreciation about them but we've seen in the media other places, so forth and so on, where there has been kind of a negative between youth and police. Why not have an opportunity for them to talk, come together, get to know each other in a learning environment and make for reducing that social distance? So, Zaniah, what was that like then? Uh, take, take me sort of through that experience in learning. Well, at first, I remember when we first got there, they asked everyone in the classroom, raise your hand if you hate police. I think almost everyone raised their hands. Mm. But more as you got more into the program, you got to meet the police and talk to them and just see the, their kind of jobs, see their points of view through things. You got to understand them more. Mm -hmm. Would you recommend this program to other to other kids? And, and what age do you think is a, is a good age? I would, I think, because I was 14. Mm -hmm. I had just turned 14. So around the ages 13 to Maybe 17 would be a good age. Yeah, is that what you're thinking, Doc? High school age is a good time to start this program? That's why we call it Teen and Police Service yeah. Academy. That's the time when the ideas are formed. That's the idea when other folks, social media, would ex yeah. have people with certain ideas. If we can kind of turn that around mm -hmm. and that people understand, the youth understand the police, and the police understand the youth. Right, it's got to go both, both ways. Both sides mm -hmm. working together so that when they do come together on a traffic stop outside, yeah. the, not so much tension exists. Um, Zanai, going in to this year as an ambassador, how does that sort of change your role in the, in the program? Well, it's honestly more of a leadership role just because as an ambassador, your job is to more of help the counselors, watch the kids, you help with the activities because we do different modules. So I do secondary, which is basically I'd help switch the slides and I'd give an opinion, kind of talk about it through it. So it's more of a leadership experience. Okay. And, and for the police, so this has got to be good for them too, yes. for the officers, because we said it's a two-way communication. Yes. So what kind of results are you getting on the other side? Side. Officers are understanding more youth culture, yeah. understanding more being able to talk about and talk with youth. They're going out in the community and doing things. Just yesterday we were in three sites around the city doing service learning out there in a farm, out there in a homeless shelter, just doing it there that mm -hmm. folks can see youth and police together. The police can learn about youth, youth can learn about police. Better understanding between all. And, and where can our viewers learn about how to get involved? Yes. Visit us at www.tapsacademy.org. Learn more about us. Follow us on Facebook, social media, all those wonderful places. We're going to be doing a lot throughout the school year. We're going to be in 26 schools. So there's lots of opportunity. Contact us, and we can certainly see what we can do to make and reduce that social distance. That's a beautiful mission. And yes. It's so important. Yes. And uh, Keep congratulations. Yes. I'm glad you had a good experience. Good luck as an ambassador. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Zanaya and Dr. Penn. Thank Thanks you so, so much. Thanks so much. And folks, click to Houston.com uh, slash scene at seven and we'll have more information and we'll put the links up there too.